Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog. This uh, lesson is percent of a quantity. So this is lesson 5-4. Don't forget all your groovy lessons can be found right there at MrMathBlog.com and then make sure you pick the 6th grade link. That's what this one is going into. There's two 6th grade links. One of them's kept for California and so uh, and at least for my district in California and then the other one's for the rest of the nation. So I, I don't know. Anyway, so let's get started here. Here's our, our common core strand and our, our question here is how can we find a percent of a quantity? All right, I'm going to show you a couple of methods here. So a typical family in Citrus Heights uses about 400 gallons of water each day and 30% of this water is for outdoor activities such as gardening. So how many gallons of water does a typical family in Citrus Heights uh, use each day for outdoor activity, okay? So 400 gallons sure seems like a lot, but you know, if you have a, you know, typical family of four people and everybody takes showers and you do the dishes and wash your clothes and all that pretty soon starts adding up. So, and then you're washing your outside and stuff. And so, you know, your lawns and stuff and flowers and stuff and gardens anyways, probably during the summer, this is what happens. So more water is used. So, so we're looking for uh, 30% of the 400 for our outside activity. So will the number of gallons of water for the outside activity be greater than or less than 200 and then explain well it's going to be less than 200 because 30 percent is what we're looking for and that's less than 50 percent and 50 percent would be half so since 200 is half that's 50 percent and we're only looking for 30 percent so it's definitely going to be less than that so here's one way we can um uh, use ratio reasoning so we can draw a bar model so here's a bar right here and so here's our 400 gallons right here in this bar this 400 gallons it shows our hundred percent from zero to a hundred percent right there okay so let's slide that up to give us some more room and so 30 percent you guys here's one way 30 percent is three groups of 10 percent so we can divide this model into 10 equal groups okay so there's 10 equal groups so these are all 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent all the way up to our hundred percent right there okay and then uh, so let's find the value of 10% of 400. So 10% of 400 is one tenth. Remember, 10% is one tenth. Uh, so one tenth times 400. So we're going to do uh, multiply one times 400 over 10 times uh, this one right here. So it's going to put the 10 down there. And then so we have 400 divided by 10. Well, we can just cancel off these zeros right here. When they end in zeros, you can just cancel one of them off if there's one on the bottom. So 40 over 1 is 40. So 10% of 400 is 40. So let's find the value of 30% of 400. So 30% uh, is going to be thir uh, 3 times the 40 right there. So if we put uh, 40 in for 40 here, 40 here, 40 here, that'll give us our 30% right here. Here's 30%. Okay, so 40 plus 40 is 80. 80 plus 40 is going to give us 120. Okay, so... Uh, 120 is going to be our 30 percent. Well, we can. Here's another way we can multiply. We can find 30 percent of 400 by multiplying. So write uh, the percent as a rate per 100. So 30 percent is 30 one hundredths right there. Okay, and then we can multiply 30 one hundredths of 400. Remember, of means multiply. So 30 uh, 30 hundredths times 400 right here, and then the again. We got uh, two zeros downstairs, can cancel out two zeros upstairs, so we're left with uh, th uh, 30 times 4. Well, 30, 3 times 4 is 12, so 30 times 4 is 120. Okay, so there's a couple of ways. So anyways, 30% of 400 gallons is going to be 120 gallons, so that's how much they, they use for their outdoor activity. So how can we find the number of gallons of water used for the indoor activity? Well, since they have 400 gallons and and you used 120 gallons outside, then the rest of that would be the inside. So we can subtract um, uh, the 120 from 400 and find out they used 280 gallons uh, inside. Okay, or since 30% was outside, then 70% would be inside because we take that off the 100% that they used, and you can find 70% of 400. Either way, both easy. Okay, so how about this? Find 65% of 500. Okay, so 65% is 60. 65 hundredths, so we can multiply 65 hundredths times 500, and again the zeros will cancel, and you have two zeros downstairs and two zeros in the numerator right there, they just cancel, so we're left with 65 times 500.
65, okay? And then I'm just showing you a little uh, reminder trick. 65 is the same as 60 plus 5, so we can multiply. These are nice compatible numbers. 60 times 5, well, 6 times 5 is 30, so add a 0 right there, and then 5 times 5 is 25 so 300 plus 25 is 325 okay nice huh nice way so here's another example so Carol Carol earns three thousand dollars per month and she spends 40 percent of her salary on rent and then 50 per 15 percent of her salary on groceries so how much does Carol have left over for other expenses okay so we can add uh, to find the total percent that Carol uh, is used for rent and groceries so 40 percent plus the 15 percent that she spends on her groceries 40 percent for her salary and 15 percent means she spends 55 percent on on the rent and the groceries so we can subtract that total from the hundred percent to find the percent that's left over for the other expenses so 100 percent minus 55 percent will give us 45 percent so then we can take that 45 percent and then write the percent uh, uh, as a per 100. So 45% is 4,500. So 4,500 times times 3,000. Again, we can cancel off two of the zeros, and we're left with 45 times this 30. And I started it over here. 45 is the same as 40 plus 5. All right, we know that 3 times 4 is 12, so we add a couple of zeros on there, so it's 1,200. And then 3 times 5 is 15 plus this one zero, so it's going to be 150. So 100, or 1,200 plus 150 gives us uh, 1,350. So Carol has $1,350 left over for other expenses, okay? All right, so explain how we can solve that problem in a different way. Okay, well, easy enough. We could find 40% for the rent of 3,000. So I did that right here. 40% of 3,000 is $1,200. Then we can find 15% of the 3,000 right there. We can add those together to be 1650 right there, $1,650. And then we can subtract that from the total right there. And if we subtracted that from the total, we'd find out she has $1,350 left for other expenses. All right, you guys. Hope that makes sense. And hope you're doing well this year. Take care.